Hi, welcome to our channel, Design Engineers. Support us by clicking on subscribe button and bell icon. The top plane will be used to demonstrate the first few tools. Click the top plane option in the feature manager box on the left side of the drawing screen and click on sketch tool. The top plane's orientation will change to a 2D view. The top plane appears as a rectangle because the view is taken at 90 degrees to the plane. This means that all 2D shapes drawn on the plane will appear as true shapes. Click the line tool. With the line tool activated, locate the cursor on the origin. The origin is indicated by the two red arrows spaced 90 degrees apart. Two icons will appear on the screen. The line tool icon indicating that the line tool is active, and the coincident relationship icon indicating that the origin and the starting point for the line are on the same point. Move the cursor away from the origin horizontally to the right. As you move the cursor away from the origin, a distance and an angle value will appear. The distance is as measured from the origin or starting point for the line. The angle is based on the SOLIDWORKS definition of zero degree. Horizontal line at the left of the origin is considered as zero degree. Because we are drawing to the right, so the angular value is 180 degree. Two other icons will also appear, the line tool icon and the horizontal relationship icon. Click the mouse to define the end point of the line. Move the cursor vertically downwards. Do not click the mouse. A new line will be drawn using the end point of the horizontal line as the starting point for the vertical line. Distance and angle values will appear based on the new starting point. Also, the line and vertical relationship icons will appear. Click the left mouse button to end the second line. To exit from line command, press the escape key or right click the mouse and click the select option. Click the smart dimension tool, click the line, and move the cursor away from the line. A dimension will appear. Click the mouse to define the location of the dimension. The modify dialog box will appear. Enter a distance value for the line and click the green OK check mark. Click anywhere on the drawing screen to complete the line drawing. The dimension can be moved by locating the cursor on the dimension. Pressing and holding the mouse button, and dragging the cursor. Click the file tab located at the top of the screen. Click the Don't Save option. The screen will return to the original SOLIDWORKS screen. To watch our more videos subscribe our channel and press bell icon. If you like this video press like button and share to your friends. Here you can learn SOLIDWORKS from beginning to expert level as much short time as possible. Thanks for watching.